what do you do if you don't want to buy a caravan? Or if you've come to the end of your caravan journey and you want to still tour around and have all the luxuries. Nothing like the smell of new leather. You just drive off. There's no setting up. Drives like a car and you got your whole home with you. Mate, sounds like an option for me. G'day, Craig here, Caravans by the Campfire. Today we've got a special episode. We'll just be spending 10, 15 minutes maybe, so you can hang around that long. And we're looking at something that I'm very excited about because a lot of you out there, and you keep asking questions, what do I do if I'm over my caravan? What do I do if I don't want to carry that big ass thing behind my car? Yeah, I can't necessarily afford to buy a big four wheel drive and a $180,000 caravan. What are the other options for me? So in this episode, I get hold of the ultimate for me. I'm a big fan, Mercedes and Jayco Silverline. So they've come together and I've got this Sprinter camper van. It will pick up after I've been on the road for a day and I've experienced some stuff. And then I'll give you a quick tour of inside and outside and you'll just see what I'm talking about. I wanna know what the future might look like. I might be over my van. I might just be a couple out there thinking about buying a van and I'm thinking, well, what do I wanna spend all that money for? Why do I wanna tow this thing behind my car? What other options are out there for me? I've got this one from On Point Caravan Hire, right? I'll put the details below, but they're in Sydney. A lot of people fly in and then rent something. <laughs> Okay, I spent night one. It's fantastic, this machine, mate. This camper van. I'll just tell you the difference between a camper van and a motorhome, right? A camper van is like a van that's been fitted out to camp in, right? So it's got all the mod cons inside, but basically it's a big van. And then a motorhome, as opposed to a camper van, is a chassis that they fit like a van onto, like a caravan or a big van and they put it on the chassis. This camper van, it's a Sprinter Optima and it's about 145 grand, right? This is a 2024 model. I'm gonna show you through it in a minute, but it's just got everything you would need. If you were just an individual out there and you're thinking, well, I'm overcome my caravan and camper trailer around, I'm gonna sell all that and just get myself a camper van the numbers would have to make sense, yeah? And I can understand why lots of people travel around the country, whether you're single or you're just a couple, and you can even tow behind it, right? It's got a 2,000 kilo towing capacity. So any decent sized boat that you might wanna take around with you is gonna be good. Now I know it's only a two liter turbocharged diesel engine, but it's a nine speed automatic. You can upgrade from this to the off-road version. It's about 20,000 more, I think, something like that. Don't hold me to that number, but that gives you <clears throat> higher ground clearance, rear wheel drive or all wheel drive, and a few other little mod cons, but this has everything in it. And last night, the shower, instant hot water. It's got a heater, a television, a kitchen, a reasonable amount of storage. And down the back, when you see the bed area, it doubles like as a a lounge, it's nearly like a club lounge type of scene. So it's gotta be a good thing. Let's get on with it, we'll show you through the van. It's got a swivel chair in the front. Both chairs in the front swivel around to access the main area. So, just slide it forward, spin around. Look at that. Ooh -hoo. Pretty good. You can sit here, someone else can sit there. I think it's a great idea. USB ports, plenty of lights, controls up here. I'll just show you what it looks like. And you spin around and here's your home away from home camper van. So we've got here the kitchen. So we've got gas cooktop, three burner stove. No problem whatsoever. You've got here your heating system. Push the button, set the temperature. 
She's a beauty. Plenty of storage cupboards. Yep, bit of stuff in there. These vans here from On Point Caravan Home, well, they come fully kitted out with everything. So, no need to bring anything other than your bed linen. Nice big sink. Yep. Filtered water from here. Normal hot and cold water out of this one. Yeah, plenty of lights here. The shower is right opposite the kitchen. So you open it, it's a toilet shower combined. It's got a roof hatch, extraction fan. The fan's a two-way fan actually, in and out. Toilet seat, that top just swivels around like this. So plenty of room to sit on that there. Nice shower head, basin. When you get in here, it's actually bigger. Yeah. So, quite a decent bit of room. Most people will fit through this doorway. I don't know how wide that doorway is, but I reckon it's gotta be about 400. Wouldn't mind a slightly longer door, but look, it is a camper van. Once you get in there, no problems whatsoever. Yeah, drawers. Little drawer at the top, cutlery. Yeah, plenty of room here. What's down there? Yeah. 80 litre fridge. It's got some magnetic pads to put them up here to put your jug on, all that kind of stuff. Looks like a bachelor fridge, doesn't it? Eggs, bacon, beer, Pepsi, and chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Tracy. Plenty of power points. So if you're plugged in anywhere or you have a generator, no problem at all. This particular van, it's got lithium, but it doesn't have an inverter. So you can spec that up if you want to. But if you just want to get out and about, microwave oven, right? And see here, this is the Jayco sort of back section, right? A couple of fans, Sirocco fans. That mesh is down at the back there, so there's no bugs coming in. You can just open those back doors and have plenty of room. A couple of big windows. This bedding area here, it's pretty much a king size bed area. And I'll show you in a minute, this also converts to a lounge area, which is a bonus. But these, have a look at this. And when you hire something from On Point Caravan Hire, they always give you all the gear. An espresso machine mugs, champagne glasses, you name it. It's all in here. Now, you've got all this other extra space down here. There's nothing in there. I like these rolling shutters. Maybe they should be on more vans. I don't know. Very good. TV gear in here, more power points. Yeah, it's got the push button wireless remote system you know, that Jayco has. Push any button here. You can put these power points anywhere you like. Not power points, switches anywhere you like. TV, works a treat. Yeah. Air conditioning, plenty of lights. Yeah, look under there. So, I like this area here. I've been sitting here working on my computer for a couple of nights and no problem whatsoever. Plenty of privacy. These are normal screens. Don't let go in a hurry. They are Jayco and they're, they're the Jayco ones that just go But they're good. Keep control of them. Privacy screen. Yeah, they're the same right throughout the van. But they're good, nice and tidy. Control unit up here. Hot water system, Suburban, instant hot water. Yeah, this is the big brain box. How much capacity of battery you got left? What's happening with your water, your grey water? Radio, Bluetooth it to your phone. Anything else connects to the TV as well. So pretty good. Pump, hot water. It's good. Now this hot water doesn't come on because it's instant till you get in there and turn the hot water tap on. Pretty good. You can set the temperature, 50 is the max. Again, another vent here. There's no fan on this one, but you know, you just open it. Really easy. Okay, I don't mind these motorhomes. Oh, sorry, this is a camper van, this one, but motorhome, camper van. 
you just drive off. There's no setting up. Yeah, no packing up. You know, five minutes, put your chair away, roll the awning in, see you later, mate. You don't even have to make the bed, you don't even have to clean up, you just drive off. And it drives like a dream. So you're not worried about everything crashing over everywhere. Yeah? I'll just show you now. Look at this privacy screen. It's called something in a bubble, right? But this is on the main door, the main side door. And it's all magnetic, so it just sticks to the body of the thing and then yeah you can open this do, 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 do. and then you let go it just joins itself back up again if you have a look down there I've got the back open the back screens down and it's just beautiful flow through yeah I think it's great now when you want to pack up you just get this thing right just rip her off and then, hey presto, automatic closing door. Pretty good. It's got its own, it's got its own window. Yeah. It's got its own window. I'll just open that back up again. put my mesh back on and I'll be laughing. Super comfortable. Whew. Tracy probably would have liked to come for this little trip but hmm. she's having some exotic holiday with my daughter or our daughter. She's having some exotic holiday. Look at this. All you see is pictures of pools and palm trees. So amazing. I'd rather be out here in the camper van. Talking about head height. So I'm 6'2", right? And I guess, you know, there's a little bit of space there, but I don't feel like I'm gonna bump my head on anything. Yeah, and even in the cockpit, you can walk in here, look, and I'm still fine. Turn the chairs around, yep. Nice Mercedes, you know, instrument panel. It's like a bit of a sports car steering wheel. This thing here tells you everything and, uh, very intuitive system. So I'm liking that. I like everything about this actually. This is what I really like, yeah? Now these areas are very long. I can lay down there comfortably. And when you move this, this cushion goes right back to the wall. So it's wide enough. You could sleep up there and you could sleep up this side. So if you wanted to make use of this lounge area, that's something to think about. You might have to configure these, this foam, but you see here, there's a pole that goes in there and this table yeah, just sits up here. So if you can imagine that sitting up and you sit around it, there's plenty of room. Yeah, I love it. And this also forms, goes in between here. So this is a Jayco all aluminium frames, lightweight timber. Yeah, and this just sits in the middle there and um, you're laughing. These two fill in that middle bit, just like that. They fill it in down there. Then you can put your, your mattress topper on, your blankets, whatever. Yeah. I think there's plenty of room to have a think about what you want to do in this area, if you ask me. You can have those back doors open, beautiful breeze blowing in. Plenty of room up here, look. And you can walk right the way through. Yeah, I like it. Now there are storage compartments under here. So this back one, yeah, this gives you access to the area underneath in the back. Yep, you got your hot water service over there. This side here, inside that box is the gas bottle. Again, a bit more storage. Over here, you've got the diesel heater. Yep, plenty of room in there. You don't want to put much into areas where the diesel heater is, but there's certainly a bit of storage there. Get some stuff in there. And on the other side is the battery box. Let's just show you that quickly. Goodness me. 
yeah, battery box. It's the back of the instant hot water. All the pipes in there are pretty nice. And this is the modern day lithium battery box that's actually covered, which it's meant to be. So you can't get access to that very easily. And then over this side, this is the brain box. Yeah. Projector chargers and the projector system sort of controls everything. Mm. So, there you go. The old Mercedes Sprinter van that's been decked out. So around here we have the 15 amp plug-in at the caravan park. If you've got a generator, this is just your main circuit breakers there. There's another plug-in here, this side for an aerial. Got your aerial up there. Output here, or an input for solar. So you need a little regulator on your solar blanket for that. And in here we just have the toilet cassette. Some goodies. They're all standard hatches. Yep, 17 inch rims, alloy rims. These have got road tyres on it. Probably some all terrains might be alright. But again, you know, it's not particularly an off-road van. There is one here where I'm staying that is the off-road version. This is the inlet points. These are typical Jayco connections. Got the little rubber stoppers on there. So you can plug in at a caravan park or you can use the filler and just fill up. It's a 100 litre tank. Instant hot water. This is a suburban one. Works a treat. Well, did for me last night. Nice windows. Big open back here. So this is a screen. You can put that down, let all the air flow through. A couple of hatches under here. This is where your gas bottle is stored. Make that in there. There you can see it. Just a four kilo gas bottle. Plenty of room under here. Store all your hoses, spare gear, little ramps, a bit of firewood. If you didn't have the firewood there, you'd probably put your barbecue in there. A couple of little things. Outdoor shower. Pretty convenient. Down the beach where you just want to hose off. It's a good idea. So there's plenty of privacy. It comes with these screens. So the other side of the screen is silver. You just push them on. Where you go, a couple of little compartments. Yep, quite nice. And again, you can tow up to two ton. I think the ball weight's 200 kilos. Come around here, nice awning. You can either hook this up to your car or tie it down on the ground. Outdoor speakers, little light up here. I usually have a table out here with the barbecue on, so in the nighttime you've got a bit of light. This is a power outlet. So if you want to plug in here, you know, boil your jug or your coffee machine or whatever. Again, an aerial USB port. This is the vents behind the fridge. Has an 80 litre fridge in it, which is a cracker. It's the coldest fridge I've, I've had actually out of any caravans. So that's pretty much it. There is one other exciting thing. So you open it just slides back. You've got the beauty inside. Yeah, little step here. Pull out. Or you can get the electric one. Please yourself. Yeah. So she's pretty good. Lithium battery inside. Solar panel on the roof. Air conditioning. You can see the back of that silver privacy screen there. It's got the wine guard. That's the booster for your mobile signal yeah or your Telstra signal or whatever so pretty good outside getting used to this camper van thing it's just so easy you pull up most of the time you can get a pretty flat site and if you can't you just drive up on some of those little ramps but it's got the water 
instant hot water, plug your solar panel in, solar on the roof, grey water tank, I think it's 60 litre grey water tank, maybe 70, 100 litres of fresh water, 107, something like that. It's all pretty good. Might just show you under the bonnet here, because it's got a 2 litre turbocharged diesel and um, 9 speed auto. So very easy to drive. It's got heaps of torque and power down low as well for those big hills. I can't quite work out what the tear weight is. Because <clears throat> it's like a sprinter van and then it's been fitted out by Jayco. And I can't find that anywhere. But it's quite a steep hill and we're just cruising up easy. It accelerates off fine. You know, if you can go up steep hills at 60 or 70, 80 kilometres an hour, the performance these days of this modern engine is like two litres, turbo diesel, nine-speed automatic gearbox. It's just pumping, mate. Amazing. Mm. Not a lot of rattling around inside. A couple of things, you get a little bit of movement from like the, the shower door, that kind of thing, but... Everything locks up. It's not an irritation. Yeah. The big thing is, it just drives. Like it's six metres long. Or, or sorry, 21 foot. So you, it's like you're in a big motorised 21 foot caravan. But it's only about 2.1 wide. There you go, there's the lane correction for me. I was just wandering towards the middle of the road and it just moved me back straight away. So, good thing. Doesn't look very big, but that magic turbo there just makes everything crank. It is good. Nice Mercedes technology. Five year warranty, these uh, vans. So you get the warranty from Mercedes for the truck and also Jayco for all the stuff that's inside it there, so that's a good thing. Just got all the gear, mate. Yeah, a little bit of a squeeze to get into that shower. I wouldn't mind that doorway being a little bit bigger, but I should be a little bit smaller. <laughs> and then I might be able to get in easier. Just have a look at the information you get on this thing when you're reversing. Isn't it? Crazy. I love it. How easy is this to drive? Anyone can drive these things, mate. Just talking about these dirt tracks, if you've got a camper van or a motorhome. There's lots of cicadas around this morning, but if you want to come somewhere where there's views like this, and you've got to come down some dirt tracks, right? Like that. What you've got to make sure if you have a front wheel drive motorhome and it's fully loaded, sometimes these simplest of off-road tracks can get you caught up. Because that front wheel drive, the weight in the back, you just start spinning and you lose traction. So just have a think about that. Be very careful. Sometimes you need a little bit of momentum and just keep that pace up. You should be able to come to locations like this, right? Just the simple picnic area in a national park. We're lucky here, this one, it's rear wheel drive. So, you have a fair bit more confidence. Let's see if we can get out up this hill. I'm sure we can, no problem. And again, look, when you're on the camera, you can't tell what sort of an incline this is, but you know, just looks like a dirt road. It's been a little bit wet yesterday, but all that's done is settled the dust down and just taken the edge off the track. There's plenty of traction here. But as I was saying, yeah, if you've got front wheel drive only and it's a loose gravelly road, you want to get a little bit of momentum up. Glad I could see that lookout. That is epic.
So it's something to be said for this particular camper van and the option of traveling in a camper van or a motorhome. Anyway, hopefully that's helped you. It's given you a little insight into what the camper van market might be like. And there's a whole range of people out there selling, you know, camper vans and motorhomes. This one is a good one. Anyway, that's what it is. So thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and um, we'll see you next time.